So the book is about a girl called Katie, and she's a fairly ordinary 11-year-old girl, loves horseback riding, uh, but she's had some misfortune. She had a horseback riding accident, so she's not very happy with her life when the book begins, and she's really longing for some adventure. Uh, and she then later learns that she should be careful what she wishes for because she gets it in a very unexpected way when she visits Otterley Manor, an interesting, mysterious old house. So the idea for the story came from a visit to an old house called Knoll House in Kent. And it's one of these enormous old Elizabethan houses that has long, creepy corridors and secret servant stairways and lots and lots of paintings that seem as if they're watching you as you walk along. And of course, as I was visiting this house, my mind started working and asking the question, what if? You know, what if this sculpture in the wall came to life and winked? And what if you touched it and it opened a secret chamber? And inside that chamber, what if there was a painting that sucked you into it so that you went back in time to the days when the house was first built? And so all these questions were sort of churning in my mind and that's really what kicked off the story in the first place. So the book is fictional. It is a sort of a fantasy story that I came up with, but it is based on actual history. So you might meet some familiar characters in the book, such as King James I. Shakespeare also makes an appearance. And a lot of the events and the way of life and the things that happen in the book are based on my research of the history. Now I know a lot of people will think that research is boring and it's you know something that you do in dusty old libraries but I actually think that research is one of the most exciting parts of writing a book. It's almost like being an explorer. You know the more you dig and, and look into things the more you discover and the more stories you find and then those can be worked into the book that you're writing. So I had a great time researching uh, for Katie Watson and the Painter's Plot, and I hope that when you read it, you will find some of the history quite exciting as I did. My favorite part of the book, well, I can't really say because it would give away too much of the plot, but uh, my favorite part involves, of course, Katie, and uh, a certain horse who she meets called Vagabond, and Vagabond's a very special horse, um, and there's a part in the book where Vagabond helps Katie sort of overcome a personal fear, a personal challenge that she has. Um, and it's a scene where she shows a lot of courage and uh, it's also a very exciting action scene. So I don't want to give it away, but when you read the book, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. So Katie Watson and the Painter's Plot um, is special, I think, because it's more than just an adventure story. It certainly is an adventure and it's a mystery story and time travel and all of those things. But beyond that, it's also a story about bravery and not just kind of, you know, swashbuckling bravery, but the kind of bravery that only comes from really caring about our friends and wanting to help them um, and, and really sacrificing for our friends and people that we care about. It's also a story about learning to appreciate our families and our lives and, and the wonderful things that we have that we maybe take for granted. That's certainly something that Katie has to learn along the way. I think anyone who likes a good old adventure story will enjoy Katie Watson and the Painter's Plot. There's mystery, there's danger, there's time travel, there's very interesting history, uh, there's you know some spooky bits as well. So I think there's something in it for everybody, whether you're a boy, whether you're a girl, whether you're 11 like Katie, or you're older or younger, I, I think you'll find something in the book for you. And I hope you enjoy it.